Hi everybody, I'm Rishi Varasarya and I'm going to, I'm going to be showing you how to make a hydrogen cell uh, which is homemade, which I made uh, and uh, it's very simple to make and you can find the apparatus at your house. First you need a fabricol, uh, you need some salt, you need a spoon, you need a bottle uh, whose cap you have, yeah, this is a cap. You can use any cap because most of the caps uh, fit in. Then you have your funnel. You have a power source. Here I have a battery eliminator which has an input of 17, maximum 17 volts and has uh, 0.6 amperes, amperes. Then you have uh, aluminum foil uh, or a cap, cap or a cap or a anode. And these don't need to be very long. Uh, preferably it, has, it, it should be long because the more surface area the faster it will be but uh, in this because it's not, a, it's not at a very massive scale doesn't really matter and because the salt you'll add into the water will, uh, uh, will uh, make the re reaction faster so it just need to be as long so that it can touch the water and they should not touch each other when they are inside the water yeah. and now the procedure just take uh, some amount of the water and just add lots of salt in it and I already added salt and just mix it very well. When it's diluted, it should be transparent, not should be, the salt should not be uh, down there, this thing that should dilute. Then add it. Add it into your, uh, add the water, brine into the uh, water. Yeah, this, I will add some less water, but I will add some water in my final one. What you do is you add both of them and add some more water of course and then you just close them up. But now how will the hydrogen oxygen come up? So what you need to do is take your cap, make a hole in the center with your scissor or your sharp, any sharp thing or you can light it up. I did with the with the hydrogen torch and just light it up in the center. You can do it with anything, your creativity and just take a pipe put it in and take your glue and just fix it up yeah so then and the problem uh, sometimes I face is that these two touch each other and when they touch each other there will be a spark so that's an indication for you that they, uh, that they are touching each other so they should not come in contact yeah so and just close it up I have a model here ready for you this one this is a this has much bigger one for more surface area and of course it does full water filled up. For testing it, if it's uh, releasing hydrogen, what you do is take another container, fill it with water. This needs to uh, be, doesn't need to be full, full filled up. It just needs to be as much water as, so that the uh, your pipe can go in it. And just connect your and just connect your two points, positive and positive and the negative. The you don't need to. There's no specific like the negative supposed to be the cathode or the anode or anything. You just connect it anyway. And uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. There is some pr production of hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, if you can't see it, you will be able to know it because it's getting opaque yeah and to prove it here you can see bubbles in this now this is HHO this is hydrogen this is uh, this is HHO and this the amount of hydrogen produced is twice as much as the oxygen produced because it's the, because the chemical formula of oxygen is H2O so when you release two of two two atoms of uh, hydrogen and one atom of oxygen so the amount of hydrogen is twice as much
Yeah. So you can actually capture the hydrogen. You can fill this up with water. You can put it into the bottle so that the so that so the water uh, stays in it, and then the hydrogen will get collected and the water will go down. Now, if it dries, is you can put some weight on it or you can tie it up with ropes to the side, and you can collect lots of hydrogen. And then, if you want to have a great time, just blast it up with a matchstick or downwards. If you do it downwards, the flame the flame ball will go downwards and there will be a huge noise. But if you do it upwards, you can see a flame ball and lots of smoke. Thank you.